Hey guys, Mariah from MariahMagazine.com here. And in this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to update your SEO title tags and your SEO meta descriptions for your homepage and then all of the other pages on your Squarespace website. So the thing about Squarespace and the title tags is that it usually defaults to making your title tag the same as the name that you gave the page for navigation purposes. So like it defaults to having your title tag, let's say like portfolios, because that's what you named it for the navigation. And that's not always super great for SEO purposes. Um, so we're definitely gonna wanna change that. So go ahead and click pages. And then you're going to click on the little gear icon right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we're gonna wanna change this page title right here. So this is where you would put your SEO title that you want to appear in search engines. So when you're coming up with your SEO title, you want to make sure that your keywords are in there. Okay, and then you can go ahead and customize the meta description for that page in this little box right below it, uh, the page description. So a really good meta description or page description outlines what's on your page, but it also encourages the searcher to click on your result instead of somebody else's if you show up in Google search results. If you keep in mind, like, what does your page offer? Why should somebody visit it? What will they get from it? Definitely keep all of that stuff in mind when you're coming up with your page description. The thing is, is that Google might not always show your meta description. Sometimes they'll show snippets from like your content instead. So that is totally dependent on Google and kind of what the search was for and how relevant your meta description is for that particular search. So this is like a good guideline for Google, but they might end up um, customizing this in search results anyways, but it's still really important to go ahead and to create one for every single page so it at least has a default meta description. So once you go ahead and type that in, you can click save. Now, just remember that these page titles and the descriptions are not going to automatically update in Google search results. Um, sometimes it does take some time for Google to go ahead and to update these. One really good way is to go ahead and submit a new sitemap so that Google can recrawl this page and get this new information. So I will link to a video on how to do that below in the video description. And we want to make sure that we're doing the same thing, changing those page titles and customizing the descriptions on every single page of your website. So you're going to want to click this gear icon, like on the process page, the FAQ. Um, and notice that I don't have a home menu item in here. So I have to scroll down to my not linked pages. And this is where I'm going to customize the SEO title and the description for my home page. So I would go ahead and fill out this, fill out this, and then just go ahead and click save. So you definitely want to create a custom SEO page title and SEO meta description this way um, for each page instead of going to marketing, SEO, and creating an entire site meta description because this will more likely override your entire website's meta description and have each page have the same one, which we totally want to avoid. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing it page by page. So if you guys have any questions at all, just go ahead and pop them below in the comments. And if you found it helpful, just go ahead and give me a super quick thumbs up.